Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you everything I got for my children's stockings as well as the Christmas Eve box. If you're new here, hi, I'm Claire. Welcome to my channel. If you like what you see, be sure you hit that subscribe button. I did a video, I think like a week or two ago, about what I got for my kids for Christmas. They are ages four and six. I will leave that down below. That's gonna be all like the under the tree presents and stuff. Um, but since I didn't wanna overload you with things, um, I split this into a separate video in case you are needing some ideas for the little ones in your life of what to put in their stockings. We also do a really fun tradition of the Christmas Eve box. And I definitely wanted to share that with you guys too because it's definitely become one of my children's favorite traditions each year. Uh, so yeah, let's get right into it. We'll start with the Christmas Eve box because there's not like a ton of stuff in here, but it is super fun. First, I have to show you the box. So I made this box a few years ago. I actually did a whole video on it. Please forgive me, it's probably pretty cringe-worthy because it's very old. It was at the very beginning of this channel. Um, but I did make the Christmas Eve box myself. So the first thing I picked up at Target um, were some Christmas ornaments. My children are now to that age where they like get into ornaments that are like their own that they get to put out each year. They have their own boxes now for their own ornaments. So I wanted to help them along with their growing collection. Um, so I got them each a food that they both love. So for my oldest fox, I picked up this little pineapple. He loves pineapples. And for my little guy, I picked up, of course, his favorite, a hot dog with mustard and ketchup. Um, so I know that they will totally get a kick out of these. Next, I each got them a, a sweater. Um, well, actually, it's like a sweatshirt, but I try to get something matching or something that's cute that I know they both will like to wear on Christmas Eve. That's the day we celebrate with my family. So um, our little bubble will get together at my parents' house and the boys like to have something new and fun to wear during the day. And I found these at Target. Is it real Christmassy? No, no, it's not Christmassy at all. It's literally Pikachu, you guys. But oh my gosh, my kids are gonna flip out for these. So will all of our Christmas photos uh, be of my kids in Pikachu sweaters? Yes, but I don't care. They're so cute. These were only $12 a piece, which I think is a really decent deal, especially for like the licensed whatever. And I'm pretty sure I had a cartwheel at Target to get like 20% off or something like that. So it was a really good deal. And I know the boys will be so excited in the morning to put these on and show off to their cousins and all that stuff. I also went ahead and got each of them a Pikachu hat. This is like a last minute thing that I got. These were also from Target. They were $10 a piece, um, but I saw them and I was like, oh, it would just really complete the look. And I know that when Christmas break is over and they go back to school, they will be so excited rolling up in school in their Pikachu hats. We also have the tradition of putting a book for each of our children in the Christmas Eve box. This is something that we then read that evening before bed. Um, this year for Desmond, I got a Pete the Cat book. He loves Pete the Cat. We have a lot of different Pete the Cat ones, but this is one we didn't have. Pete the Cat and the Perfect Pizza Party. I got this on Amazon. I'll link it down below. Um, yeah, so we are, we are Pete fans in this house. And for my oldest son, I actually picked this up at um, Sam's Club of all places and it was like six months ago. I saw it and I was like, I gotta get it. This is the Pokemon Visual Companion, so not a story that we're gonna sit and read. However, my oldest is definitely more into this kind of thing rather than like stories. Like he wants all the information rather than like a good uh, piece of fiction. Next in the Christmas Eve box, I bought the boys each a set of pajamas. This is a traditional gift we always put in the Christmas Eve box. And this year, I got them these cute little gaming jammies, weekend plans, sleep, sleep, and play. And the bottoms are these little like Xbox controllers. And I know the boys will love them. I know it's really easy to find really cute Christmas pajamas. However, I definitely go towards something that is good for all of next year. These were from Target and you guys, they were only $10 each for the set. I could not believe what a crazy good deal that was. Snapped them right up. So in the Christmas Eve box, we normally include a couple little goodies, but not too much just because they'll be spending the day with the family and there's gonna be lots of candy and sweets and things going around there. But I always include a couple little candy canes. I also picked up each of them one of these chocolate covered 
Russell Stover Marshmallow Santas, and I know they'll totally love those as well. All right, and that means we are moving on to the stocking, and we're gonna start with the least exciting item, and that's socks. I always put a pack of socks in my kids' stockings. We went with Hanes for my um, oldest, and then this like random pack I got on Amazon for my youngest, I don't know, it was like a Black Friday deal or something, um, so I got these ones for him. A lot of times I get the same ones, but anyway, socks, boring, but necessary. Next, I picked up these pop coils, crack them, spring them, I don't even know what these are. Like, I guess they're just giant springs once you crack them open. But they were at the Target dollar spot, um, like, I think a couple months ago. And I thought they looked cute and like something my kids would totally love getting down on. So I grabbed one of each. Next, I actually got these at Dollar Tree. These are gemstone excavation sets. Dig it out, archaeology, discover hidden pirate treasure. I don't really know what's gonna be in there, some sort of fake gem of some sort, but like this is way up my kids' alleys right now. Next, I picked up these Denver die cast, um, like fork lift machines. My kids have so many cars and trucks of all different kinds, but they do not have a forklift, and I saw these at Menards of all places. If you're from the Midwest, you know what a treasure Menards is. Anyway, they had these and I was like, oh, that's cool. They were like five bucks a piece. I got these probably in the summer. Um, I don't know if they're gonna fit in the stocking. I'm gonna try and if they can't fit in there, then I'll wrap them and throw them under the tree um, because I do want everything to fit in there. If you're trying to find like the kid who has everything something, especially if it's a kid who loves vehicles, find like an off the wall vehicle they won't have. Like I got my nephew like an ambulance one year or like a mail truck a forklift, um, you know, get get weird with the vehicles. Next, I picked up a couple of Pokemon books. We're really heavy on the books this year. If you watch my um, haul of what I'm like getting them under the tree, they have quite a few books there too. This was not something I was planning on getting, but these were on like the clearance end cap at Target for like $2 a piece. And it's Pokemon, Ash and Pikachu, Alola region, two books in one, plus a poster, and they are the same book. Um, but I know, my kids will love it. Next, I picked up these little wood figurines. Wood stacking game, Defy Gravity. Um, and there's like fun little like configurations on the back. These were $3 a piece from the Target dollar spot. I got them probably over a month ago. Um, my kids love this kind of like little stuff. Next, from Dollar Tree, I got them each a set of stickers. These are like, like the bubbly 3D stickers and they're all the planets and they're all like holographic -ing, you know what I mean. I mean, a four-year-old and a six-year-old, a sticker is always gonna win, like, easy. Next, I got them each one of these little poppet toy things, little like fidgety poppet stuff. For some reason, we don't have one of these, which is surprising because they've been popular for a really long time. Um, but yeah, they had these at Dollar Tree and I picked one up for each boy. All right, next for the stocking, we have these little fuzzy monsters. Uh, my oldest son especially like gets obsessed with stuffed animals. He has like very particular stuffed animals he has to have with him when he sleeps. He is definitely a stuffed animal kind of kid, so I wanted to pick something a little fuzzy and snuggly in there for him. My youngest will probably think it's cool for a while, but like he's not that into it. Um, however, you know, you gotta get the same thing for both of them. So I picked these up at the Target dollar spot. They were $3 a piece. I just thought they were cute. All right, next up is a fidget spinner. My kids are still on the fidget spinner thing. I thought these were kind of going out of style, but nope, my kids still love them. Um, and these are like fun tie-dye ones, and when I saw them, I knew my boys would absolutely love them. I think I paid something like two fifty or $3 a piece for them. They were not from Dollar Tree. I believe they were from Meyer. Um, but yeah, the kids love a fidget. Next, I got these little cubes. These are Minecraft Dungeons mini figures. My kids love like a little surprise box. In years past, it's been like Ryan. Ryan was the big thing for a long time. Uh, but now we're pretty much off Ryan and onto Minecraft. These were like five bucks a piece, so like kind of expensive for probably the tiny piece of plastic that's about to be in there. But uh, I know the kids will get a kick out of opening it up and finding out what's inside and hopefully they don't fight over them because one will probably be cooler than the other. Okay, so that's all the toys that we're throwing in the stockings. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to fit all of it in there. The only thing I'm worried about is those forklifts. So we'll see, we'll see how, how Santa uh, handles that on Christmas. 
But moving on to the food portion because everyone knows the best part of stockings are the sweets. Um, and I found these giant gummy donuts at uh, Target. This was just a couple days ago in their um, dollar spot again. And I thought these were so flippin' funny. My kids love candy of all types. Like, they're at that age where like it doesn't matter what kind of candy it is, they'll eat it. Like, they will like happily eat handfuls of like candy corn and like Smarties and like bottom tier candy they think is still amazing. So uh, I know they'll really get down on a giant gummy donut. I didn't mean to offend anyone if you love a candy corn. Sorry mom, if you're watching, I know you love candy corn, but no, no. All right, next up, I got them each one of these candy canes filled with M&Ms. I think these are cute and they're easy to hang like on the outside of the stocking and they look real cute on there. So who doesn't love an M&M? I will probably also put some of these candy canes in the stockings as well, not just the Christmas Eve box, because um, there's a lot here. I also picked each of them up one of these Kinder Eggs. My kids all love a Kinder Egg, again, because it comes with a tiny plasticky thing that they can be obsessed with for like three or four days before they ultimately lose. So yeah, Kinder Eggs. All right, and then I also got this bag of Reese's uh, Mystery Shapes. Okay, legitimate question though. Mystery shape Reese's? Does this mean you'll get a random Christmas shape or does it mean that these are just random shapes? I think we're gonna have to open one to find out here. You know what, that doesn't really solve my question. It could be a boot? Is a boot? A, it's probably a stocking, not a boot. But it looks like it has a little heel. Okay, and it, okay. I need you guys to weigh in here. Is this a random shape or is this pretending to be a stocking? I don't know what Reese's is trying to pull here. Anyway, there's about a dozen of these left in here so I will split them up between the stockings. And, and yeah, that's, that's the candy. All right, you guys, that's all the things I got for the boys for their stocking, for their Christmas Eve box. I think they're gonna be really excited with everything that they have here. I think it's just the perfect amount of stuff for them to do and to be excited about without being super overwhelming or super expensive, because like honestly, come on, they're little kids, doesn't really matter that much. So let me know, what do you think of this haul? Are you putting any of this kind of stuff in your kids' stockings? Um, I would love to hear what you have to say. And of course, come on back for more. I post videos two days a week and I would love to have you, so be sure to subscribe if you haven't done that already. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching, bye.